Well, shalom, folks. This is August Rosado with Today in Bible Prophecy Ministries. And uh, we are excited to be here for the very first time in all of our trips coming to Israel. We are at the house of Harari. And when you come here, they have been commissioned by the Temple Institute to make biblical Davidic harps for the upcoming Third Jewish Temple. Now with me is Shlomo. Well, his name in Hebrew or in English would mean Solomon. So I call him Melech Shlomo, King Solomon for now. And uh, Shlomo works here. Shlomo, how long have you been working for House of Harari? Um, I've been officially apprenticing for three years now, but been sweeping the floors for about five, six years already. <laughs> and uh, he knows what he's doing when it comes to not only sweeping the floors, but making these biblical harps for the Temple Institute. So what I'd like you to tell our viewers, uh, Shlomo, what is the purpose for the House of Harari? What, what are they commissioned to do here? Um, in my guess, they, since we're not here with Shoshana, which would be the perfect one to interview for all these great questions, but I think the core thing we're doing here is uh, bringing back the biblical harp, bringing back the harp that was, you know, built and played here in the Beit HaMikdash for thousands of years and hasn't been built and hasn't been played here for over a few thousand years since we've been kicked out of this country, since we hung up our harps on the willow trees and turned our back on the land and walked out or we were kicked out, not necessarily turned our back. So now that we're back, we're back in full force and we, we, we're we here in strength. So we want to bring back the harp. We want to Amen. rebuild it and, you know, bring back the prophecies and, and live it like we're living it now. Yeah, well, you know, when the uh, Jews were uh, expelled out of the country, for lack of a better term, by the Romans in 70 AD, it seems like the interest for the Davidic harp to make it seemed to just fall out of place. No one was interested in making the harp anymore up until Micha and Shoshan Harari when they made Aliyah here to Israel, I believe That's from right. Vermont, correct? That's right. What interested them to start making these biblical harps? Um, well, it's a much simpler story than we think. Basically, Shoshana really wanted to play a harp for a long time, so she requested that Micha, who has a lot of carpentry and crafting background that has to do with guitars and furniture making, you know, said, yeah, I'll make you a harp, no problem. It took him a while, but then he made the harp. And when he made the harp, I think that was just the beginning of, of all this history that we have here. It pretty much launched him into, into this quest or into this mission that he's been given to bring back the harp to Israel. So how many harps altogether will they have to make in order to be played by the Levites in the Third Temple? Um, there is no limit. There is no limit on how many harps, and there is no limit on how, much, how each harp gets better and better over time by the knowledge that we learn and the, the passion that we have to better the harp, to get it actually prepped and ready for this high level of music playing in the mm -hmm. Beit HaMikdash. Now, when he says Beit HaMikdash, he's referring to the temple, the, uh, the temple. house, the third temple, that must stand on its historical foundation, the, uh, the Temple Mount, where the Dome of the Rock uh, stands today. And so I've heard the number about maybe 4,000 harps have to be made for the Levites. And these are just different numbers that I'm getting from um, sources right. and so on and so forth. There are specific numbers and sources, but it it varies in different places. So I don't think anybody has a solid number that you okay. can place on it, but um, 4,000 sounds good. Final question. And I know this question has already been asked by Dr. Todd Baker, but I'm gonna ask it to you again for our viewers. We know the Temple Institute is in existence to rebuild the upcoming Third Beit HaMikdash, the Third Jewish Temple. We know that Third Jewish Temple must stand on its historical location, the most sacred piece of real estate on earth today, the most disputed would be uh, the Temple Mount, the Har Harbayat. In your, in, in just in your opinion, how close do you think they are to rebuilding the Third Jewish Temple? I think we're very close. I think we're 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 at the brink, and and as far as building it or, and rebuilding it, I think that comes with building and rebuilding ourselves, our personal selves, and ourselves as a nation, and ourselves as a, as a planet. We need to rebuild the temple inside ourselves. And when we all build and perfect the temple inside ourselves, or 
we can actually bring about the third temple. There are midrashim, or there are commentaries that say that it'll be a time where it'll just come down from the sky, built mm. on, ready mm-hmm. to go. Mm-hmm. So, as far as building it with our hands, I don't know what's going to be, but with my hands and with my physical effort, I need to build myself, prepare my own, my midot, my, um, my, 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 the way I treat my friends, my family, my wife, my kids. That's what I call building the temple. Mm. Well, folks, we are here at the house of Harari interviewing Shlomo, who is one of the workers here. They are making the biblical harps for their upcoming third Jewish temple. So if you ever come here to the outskirts of Jerusalem, please visit the house of Harari. Shlomo will treat you right. This is August Rosado coming to you from the house of Harari.